Imagine a single shot punching straight through a tank's frontal armor from over five and a half kilometers away. That's not a test range myth. It's a claim from a frontline Ukrainian crew. Today, we compare two European beasts born from the same lineage, the Swedish STRV-122 and the German Leopard A6, to discover which one truly dominates modern armored warfare. Our cameras are embedded with the 21st separate mechanized brigade. What looks like two versions of the same tank hides two different philosophies, one forged in Germany's engineering precision, the other refined in Sweden's harsh northern conditions. Both are leopards, but they fight like rivals. At first glance, they share the same 120mm smoothbore gun, but the details tell a deeper story. The Leopard 2A6's longer L55 barrel gives higher muzzle velocity and flatter trajectory, allowing it to strike targets far beyond 4 kilometers with lethal precision. The Swedish STRV-122, based on the Leopard 2A5, retains the shorter L-44 gun, slightly less range but easier to maneuver in tight terrain. That small difference defines the way each tank fights and survives. According to a battalion sergeant, 1A6 scored a confirmed frontal penetration on an enemy T-72 at a range of 5,500 meters, a record shot for Ukrainian armor units. Whether independently verified or not, the claim highlights what range and velocity mean when survival depends on who fires first. Both tanks fire NATO standard 120mm APFS-DS and heat rounds, nearly identical, often interchangeable. This shared DNA simplifies logistics in combat. A single crate of German or Swedish ammunition can be used by either vehicle, ensuring both remain in the fight when supply lines stretch thin. Under the surface, the difference is protection. Germany's A6 relies on composite, modular armor, balanced and factory tested. Sweden, however, pushed the envelope the STRV-122 received thicker frontal plates, added mine protection, and re-engineered turret armor. In essence, Sweden took the Leopard 2A5 blueprint and built a cold-weather warrior tailored for endurance and defense. But even the best NATO armor wasn't enough. When these tanks arrived in Ukraine, they came stock, straight from storage. Crews quickly learned that drones and modern ATGMs could tear through standard plating. So the soldiers built their own defenses, welded cage frames, dynamic armor blocks, and improvised side skirts, all crafted from local steel and volunteer-supplied materials. Those field upgrades turned factory tanks into true battlefield survivors. At first, many foreign experts laughed at the makeshift cages, but soon the world copied them. Even Israeli and Western tanks adopted similar anti-drone frames after seeing Ukraine's results. These cages don't make a tank invincible, but they often detonate FPV or loitering munitions before impact, giving crews a fighting chance. Step inside and you'll find another difference. Comfort. The Swedish STRV includes a small multi-cooker, heating elements, and better insulation for long missions in sub-zero climates. German variants offer air conditioning and improved electronics, but not the same crew amenities. It's small, but after days inside a metal beast, comfort becomes combat endurance. German doctrine favors range. Strike first, relocate fast, and let precision do the work. Ukraine's reality is different. The battlefield is dense, drone-filled, and unpredictable. Crews rely on maneuver, cover, and teamwork more than distance. Each tank adapts, the hardware is the same, but the mindset is what keeps it alive. Longer barrels deliver reach. Heavier armor ensures survival. Improvised protection keeps old machines relevant in a new kind of war. The Leopard A6, the STRV-122, and Ukraine's upgraded hybrids each prove a single truth. Victory doesn't belong to design bureaus. It belongs to those who adapt faster. On the modern battlefield, Adaptation is armor. Factory perfection means nothing if the enemy's drone finds your weak spot. To see more real-world tests and field comparisons like this one, subscribe to Military Technology.
where battlefield innovation meets hard reality. This is the front line of engineering and survival. Thanks for watching and see you in the next stories.